these aren't normal accessories. These were banned. And Michael Jordan was fined every game because he wore a banned pair of shoes. The first ever Air Jordans appeared in 1984. And MJ had the only pair. You see that red and white? Well, the NBA had a rule. Your shoes had to match your team colors. And the Bulls colors were red and black. Close enough, right? Nope. White was not a team color. So the Air Jordans were banned. Most players listen to the NBA when they ban something. But MJ was different. Yeah. He wore the banned Air Jordans every single game. Paying a $5,000 fine every time. But it didn't matter. Because this gave the shoes so much attention. Everybody wanted a pair. And today, Air Jordans have made billions of dollars. They are the most famous shoe in the world. I know MJ is smiling somewhere. <laughs> but JR Smith is not smiling. Because JR loves to wear Supreme. He loves it so much, he even got got a supreme tattoo on his leg. In the summer of 2018, all the attention was on J.R. Smith's tattoo. Would the NBA let him keep it? I mean, it's literally on his body. But the NBA made a phone call and said, J.R., your tattoo is banned. You have to cover it up. So JR thought, okay, fine. I'll just wear a Supreme leg sleeve on top of it. But then that got banned too. The NBA doesn't allow players to promote any logos on their bodies. And now JR was angry. He said, I don't care. I'm keeping the tattoo. I'm gonna break the rule. The next day, the NBA called JR again and told him he would be fined every single game if he didn't cover it up. JR responded saying Supreme represents the streets. It represents that gritty, weird personality. And that's what I represent as a person. This tattoo meant so much to JR. But even though he was angry, he finally listened to the NBA and covered it up. But at least Supreme wasn't illegal because what Dwight Howard used was so controversial. It is now banned in every sport. When Dwight Howard was on the Rockets, he used Sticky Stuff, also known as Stick'em. Stick'em was already banned in the MLB since pitchers were trying to get a better grip of the ball. And we're here to introduce you to Stick'em used by most NFL players in the league today. It was banned in the NFL because it made catching the ball easier. And you hear that? It's literally just like glue. But Dwight Howard thought, I could get away with this. So in a game with the Rockets, Dwight Howard put Stick'em on his hands. All of a sudden, he could grab rebounds more easily. Players couldn't steal the ball from him. Dwight Howard was playing like a Hall of Famer until someone knew noticed the ball was getting sticky. Paul Millsap from the Hawks was about to take a free throw when he realized the ball was stuck to his hands. A moment occurred during Saturday's game against the Atlanta Hawks when Paul Millsap noticed the basketball felt like someone poured maple syrup over it. This guy couldn't even shoot the free throw. The referee grabbed the ball and noticed it was sticky, but he didn't know who was using the sticky stuff. So he warned both teams and the officials have warned both teams that stick him is illegal, do not use it. That's right. Wait, it was already banned before this? Yeah, because in 1980, Jerry West tried the same thing. He got caught. So the NBA banned stick him 40 years ago and Dwight Howard still tried to use it. Dwight Howard got caught cheating, but he said, I don't know why people are making a big deal out of it. I do it every game. What? He just admitted to cheating every game? Dwight Howard, stop talking. You're making it worse for yourself. But at least Stick'em was banned for a good reason. It was pretty much cheating. But the next thing 
that got banned was a player's hair. Iman Shumpert is known for his wild hairstyle. Really like the new hair, huh? Every time he got a new haircut, people were making fun of him. Not only fans, even the media was making fun of him. But he took it to another level in 2012. Shumpert just signed a deal with Adidas, and he wanted to promote Adidas in a way only he could. So while playing for the Knicks, he shaved an Adidas logo on the back of his head. That is dedication right there. But the next day, Shumpert got a phone call from the NBA. And the NBA told Shumpert, that haircut is banned. Shave that off. Technically, NBA players can only wear a logo on their shoes, not on their head. Shumpert did not want to get fined every game. So Shumpert said, fine, I'll get rid of it. He even posted a picture of the logo shaved off with the caption banned. The worst part is, Shumpert's new haircut after this is one of the ugliest haircuts in NBA history. They should have let him keep the Adidas logo. But at least this didn't affect his basketball career. Ball, willing passer down there. Because Dwayne Wade was playing like a superstar until his secret weapon got banned. Dwayne Wade got a new pair of glasses and he started to wear it on the court. But these aren't just any glasses. Wade said the arena's lights were bothering his eyes and giving him headaches. So he got these tinted glasses to protect his eyes. But it also gave him another advantage. Since the glasses were tinted, defenders couldn't see Wade's eyes during the game. On defense, an NBA player looks at the guy's eyes to see where he's gonna pass the ball. Is he gonna shoot or where he's going to dribble? But with these glasses on, they had no idea what Dwayne Wade was gonna do next. So the first game Wade used these glasses, he went off with 34 points, 16 rebounds, and five assists. Those stats were so crazy that the NBA investigated D. Wade right after the game. And the NBA decided these glasses gave him an advantage over other players. So they were banned. Poor D. Wade. Maybe he just wanted to protect his eyes. Or maybe he was trying to cheat. We'll never know. But we do know that NBA players are not allowed to wear ugly clothes. Oh, oh, wow. That is... It wow. is cold. Allen Iverson was showing up in baggy shorts. Then Carmelo Anthony was doing the same thing. A little later, the entire NBA was wearing baggy clothes. It became the new style of basketball. But the NBA didn't like that. And the team coaches hated it. Bulls coach Phil Jackson said, The players have been wearing prison clothes. And coach... Coach Larry Brown said, I was so embarrassed, I sent the players back to the hotel to change. The NBA didn't ban it yet, until NBA players crossed the line in 2004. It was Team USA versus Team Serbia. The Serbians looked good, looking professional, and compared to Team Serbia, they didn't look too good. So the NBA banned ugly clothes. Players had to wear business clothes and dress shoes to games. They had to look professional. A few years later, the NBA made the dress code even crazier. The NBA banned jewelry, headphones, and sunglasses. That was pretty much LeBron's entire style. This is LeBron before the ban, and this is him after. Well, I'm out, man. But NBA players found a new style. Something they could wear on the court. Ninja headbands. In 2018, Jimmy Butler was wearing these headbands every game. Along with De'Aaron Fox and other players. These headbands might have had superpowers. Because everyone wearing them started to play better. Both Butler and Fox were having the best seasons of their career. 
years. Ninja headbands were famous in tennis and in soccer. It's legal to wear in both of those sports, so it must be fine in basketball, right? Wrong! Because the NBA banned them for the weirdest reason possible. Since the NBA hasn't a officially tested these headbands, they considered them a safety hazard. How could this headband be unsafe? That's crazy. You know what else is crazy? The fact that you're not subscribed to Lost and Unbound. Come on, man, subscribe. But in our next one, the NBA banned their own headbands? What? In 2013, the NBA made a new rule. Every player had to wear the team headband. But not everybody liked the rule, including Rajon Rondo. And he had an idea. In a game, Rajon Rondo wore the team headband upside down. <laughs> right away, the NBA banned upside down headbands, even if it's the team headband. But at least this ban applied to all players, because our next ban only applied to LeBron James. In 2003, Rip Hamilton broke his nose and had to wear a face mask for the rest of his career. That gave NBA stars an idea. When Kobe Bryant broke his nose in 2012, instead of the ugly clear face mask, he got a black face mask. Then Kyrie Irving also wore a black face mask when he broke his jaw. Which brings us to 2014. LeBron James wore a carbon fiber black face mask. Except this time, it was a problem. After just one game with the carbon face mask, it was banned by the NBA. Why? Was it unsafe? Was it illegal? No, no, no. It's because it looked too scary. Oh, mask is unbelievable. It made LeBron look like a villain. And that's not the image the NBA wanted. So they said, LeBron, go back to the clear face mask and we've never seen the dark ones ever again but forget face masks because we have shoes so overpowered the nba doesn't allow anyone to wear them these shoes literally give you a superpower the ability to jump higher way higher these are shoes from the athletic propulsion lab that sounds scientific that's because it is these two guys added springs to a basketball shoe. So every time a player would jump, it would be like they're jumping off a trampoline. These springs were so effective, they added four inches to your vertical. So players like Isaiah Thomas would be able to dunk the ball. And players like John Morant could literally jump from anywhere and be able to slam it. Even random people who couldn't dunk started to wear the shoes and were able to dunk. The rumor is some NBA players used it in practice. <sighs> So people started to say how these shoes might change the NBA forever. But the NBA found out before the season even started. The NBA investigated these shoes themselves. They looked inside and saw what was really going on. They saw the springs and they said, no, sir. Before any player could even use it in a game, the NBA banned the athletic propulsion shoes. This ban makes sense because these shoes might have ruined basketball. But our last ban was personal. Giannis Antetokounmpo has some of the most popular shoes in the world. So popular that a lot of NBA players love to wear them. Even players on the opposite team. His Nike Zoom Freak 4 was so popular, 14 players were wearing them every game. One of the unwritten rules in the NBA is that you shouldn't wear a shoe from your rival team. And who were the Bucks rivals? The Miami Heat. So in the 2021 NBA playoffs, the Miami Heat banned players from wearing any of Giannis's shoes. These are banned accessories in the NBA. But what about the most ridiculous moments in NBA history? I've got to see that. 